Did I confuse you more than help you when I was talking about my strategy involving core versus non-core tasks? I got some great feedback from students asking some questions about that, and I realized I should do a special edition of our journey to CCIE where I elaborate on that for everyone. Let's do that now. So let's go ahead and take a look at some specific examples of core versus non-core tasks in a mock lab setting, and let me try and explain this better for you. So let's say in our configuration section, the first area that we get is called layer two. And we look at the first task and it's to build these standard based trunk links and to dynamically trim unneeded VLAN traffic from these trunks. This is a core task and I have to do this because there's gonna be so many points that depend on these trunks being built correctly. Now notice, really interesting, there is a non-core component in here, and that is the VTP pruning part of task 1.1. So if I struggled with VTP pruning, I could skip that, but I would make a note on my skip task tracker didn't get the points, need to turn on VTP pruning, right? And that's how you could kind of approach a single task as having a core component and a non-core component. Next up is 1.2, where we're gonna bundle those together in an ether channel. Think about it, this is non-core. There shouldn't be other components that rely upon this ether channel. So if you think you're gonna struggle with this, and I would hope you wouldn't struggle with this, but if you think you're gonna struggle with 1.2, then you could skip it and you could go on and attack other core tasks. Wanna see an example of a pure layer two non-core task? No other points should depend on it? Well, it's manipulating RSTP and having one of the ports be root and another be the alternate port for the root port. If you think you're gonna struggle with that configuration, you can safely skip it. No other points in your lab should depend on it. Couple more examples. Well, sure, we now move to section two of our test and it's the interior gateway protocol section. 2.1 is a four pointer. It's to configure OSPF and EIGRP per the diagram. Core, core, core task, we gotta do it. There is a non-core component here, and that is to advertise the OSPF loopbacks with their configured mask, and we can't use IP OSPF network in our configuration. A little non-core piece that we could skip. We wouldn't get the four points, that'd be tragic, but at least we did the OSPF and EIGRP, the core part. 2.2 core task, we have to do the mutual redistribution or we're gonna lose a whole bunch of other points. And then I wanted to wrap this up with an example of a layer, two, uh, layer three, an IGP non-core task. Configure OSPF speakers so that five hello packets are sent every second. Nothing else should depend on this. And it's a fun little non-core two-pointer that uses OSPF fast hellos. So if you know how to do it, great, bang it out, get those two points. If you think you're gonna struggle with this, put it on your skip task tracker and come back to it later. Maybe at the end of the day, when you know how much time is left and now you can go researching and working at the CLI to try and get all of those non-core points that you may have skipped. So I hope this elaboration on this concept of core and non-core helps you out. And Ronnie Wong will be back with us, by the way. He wasn't joining us in today's episode. He's getting a haircut, which he does every couple of days. So we'll have Ronnie Wong back in the next episode and we'll cover more great material for you on getting past that incredibly difficult CCIE lab exam. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. And don't forget, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our CCIE journey.